Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Tar Hill Engraving, and today I'm going to walk you through exactly how to frame your projects in extra creative space. Whether you're using a diode or a CO2 laser, framing is one of the most important steps to making sure that your design is lined up perfectly before you begin engraving or cutting. So what is framing? Framing is basically telling your laser, hey, this is the exact area that I want you to engrave or cut in. It's a quick preview of where your project will go on your material, and it helps you avoid mistakes before hitting that start button. Framing is crucial for the desired outcome. All right, as you can see, I'm on X Tool Creative Space, but let's go ahead and create a new project. Now we've got our Xtool Creative Space document open, and we want to insert an image. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to add a shape. And find one of the basic shapes that Xtool gives, such as this lion. I know that I'm going to be using this lion on 3mm basswood, and it's a 4x4 piece of material that I'm going to use. So since the height is bigger than the width, I know I want to change the height to 3.5 inches. And as you can see, the aspect ratio is locked, so the width changes with it. So all framing will do is create an outline between this image. So I want to select my image Scroll down on the right hand taskbar, change the power to 70% and the speed to 90 millimeters per second. This will give me a good dark engraving between 60 and 120 millimeters per second and a dark tone at 70% power. It would be right here in the middle of this material effects guide and click process. So here it shows me the estimated wait time is 11 minutes for this project to be completed. So now let's frame. Clicking this button right here, I can frame the image. And once you click it, you can see that it starts on a different origin point than what I originally need. So I can come down here to the bottom left corner under origin point and click the center. This way when I frame again it will start the origin of the frame in the center of the piece of wood rather than the top left corner. The top left corner is the default but I like to use the center because it's normally easier to find. Another thing you'll notice is that it frames really quickly so I can come up here to the top under the three dots right beside the frame and click it and change this frame speed down as slow as possible. I usually like to use it at 80 millimeters per second. This makes it a whole lot slower. And then when I click start, you can see the difference in speed. This is a lot easier to see to make sure that your engraving is framed correctly. You can also frame using this framing button on the front taskbar and just like before there's a framing setting where you can change the millimeters per second so it's really whatever you prefer so now I've got it framed up a couple times and I know that the image is where I want it so now I can start the engraving This engraving took right at 11 minutes to complete. As you can see, it's a dark engraving and it was aligned perfectly. It wasn't too far to the top, bottom, or any of the sides of the piece of basswood. And this is not something I'd be able to do by just eyeing. I had to measure and frame the piece of basswood to make sure that it was framed correctly. If this video helped you out, 
please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more laser engraving tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you have any questions or want to see something specific, please drop them down in the comments below because I love hearing from you guys. So thanks for watching and I hope everybody has a great one.